Buck, see, Buck came to my house last night. You know, with uh, Joe Bunn. Mm -hmm. And uh, they said that I got beat up or some shit. It's sort of on the net. That's, yeah, that's what you're playing. Play. It looked like I got beat up. It do look like I'm playing. You look all right, right? I definitely do. Um. Yo, what's good? What's good with y'all, man? So, Ransom dropped off a fire EP. You dig? It's called Seven. Basically, the seven, you know, daily sins or whatever the case may be. Uh, Forest Features, he got Lloyd Banks on here. He got Royce the Fire Nine on here. Um, Nine Wolf and his artist, uh, JR, basically. This shit is bananas, bro. I mean, damn. I was not expecting it to be so dope. You know, the first single he released was Pride, which is crazy because I'm listening to the beat and I was like, damn, where's this sample from? The sample is actually from, um, Yo Gotta Use the Same Sample uh, on White Friday. The song is called White Friday by Yo Gotti on CM8. And I was just like, damn, it's okay. You know, it was dope. You know what I mean? The sample and everything like that. And I was just like, okay, Ransom really don't fail. You know what I mean? He don't really drop whack shit, but that beat with that production and that sample i kind of was just like it's cool you know what i mean but i was like all right i'm gonna hold out and see what the actual project you know what it's gonna sound like the next joint he dropped was gluttony featuring lloyd banks it kind of sound like a uh, movie type you know we got a vibe to it you know it got a nice little excerpt in the beginning of the record then a beat drop the beat is like dark it got a nice sample to it that piano is crazy they both bar and this shit crazy bars lyrics flows talking that street shit you know what gluttony is you know what i mean you know what pride is so you know it's like i said it's a deadly sins and bank showed his ass on that verse because <laughs> at first i was listening to it i was just like all right i ain't really that impressed with it but the more i went back to it and listened to it i was just like oh yeah this nigga is going crazy hold on i'm looking at a text message damn she's still cute but anyway yeah so I got into that. I was like, damn, this nigga going insane. Then the next single he dropped was Greed featuring Royce the Five Nine. Now, the shit that was crazy when he dropped this song, motherfuckers on Twitter, I seen a few people on Twitter talking about, oh, this shit is whack. Royce the Five Nine is offbeat. His verse is trash. And I was like, what is niggas talking about? Roy, Royce's verse was crazy. Like, that Uzi bar he had was insane. Like, he had uh, current topics. You know, he talked about uh, Tom McDonald. He talked about that uh, that Samuels nigga that be dissing um, black women. And he just talked about, he name dropped uh, the way he did the bar with uh, no name uh, Chica's. You know who Chica is, you know what I mean? And I thought that was dope. Um, he was just crazy. That like To me, I'm going to be honest. Royce had the better verse on that joint, you know what I mean? Um, I'm sorry. There's nothing more I could say about that. It just was just, he... I don't know. It just the way he rapped on it. It did at first. It'll kind of leave like, okay, is he flowing? Is he spitting? You know, it's like in and out the way he did it. You know what I mean? It's like he was doing one punches or whatever the case may be. It's like a freestyle in a sense. You know what I mean? But Ransom definitely delivered all the way through. Crazy. Now we get into rap where a lot of people are saying that they wasn't really feeling the production, and I and I was the same way. I was just like, it's like lackluster. You know, his bars was insane. You know, he's spitting the way he spit, you know what I mean? It's It got a good hook to it, but I just wasn't really feeling the production on that joint for some reason. It's cool, but it's not really, you know, when you've been spoiled by Ransom from last year with everything he dropped with uh, Nicholas Craven, you know, you expect the production to be up to par. It wasn't bad, but it definitely was, you know what I mean, not the best production I heard from Ransom, you know what I mean? But Wrath is a crazy record. I definitely like his storytelling on that joint. That's insane. And we get into track five, which is Lust slash Lust. You know what I mean? The first half featuring um, Nine Wolf. The first half was amazing. It got a soulful beat. His wordplay is insane. You know what Lust is all about. You know what I mean? He spoke from the heart. Bars is crazy. Storytelling at his finest. I like the bar where he talked about his cousin. Where he had a bar uh, talking about his cousin in there. Basically about family and shit. That shit was insane. Now the second half is pretty dope. It's basically saying love you sometime with the, you know, with... The acronym for lust is and i thought that was pretty amazing i don't know who nine wolf is but like i said on twitter i hope him and ransom work again because i was not expecting that beat to switch up and the, the mood of the record to change i was just like damn why he didn't just use this beat right here for the entire record that just was nuts 
you know, I was like, okay, I'm really fucking with this, man. His bars on this shit was just, <laughs> Ransom is something else, man. I got to tell you, he's something else. We get into Sloth featuring his artist, JR. These two never fail when they on a track together. You know what I mean? They just raw together. The beat was raw. The sample was crazy. They flows matched perfectly. And I'm kind of trying to understand if his artist had like the better verse. You know what I mean? Because I think he had a few more punch lines than Ransom did. But Ransom killed the verse. But I think his artist definitely had like the... I, I like his verse a little bit more. It's just the way he flowed on it. And he just did his thing. I definitely fuck with that song. I was like, damn, once I got done listening to that record. And then, of course, the last track, you know, Pride. I already talked about that. But overall, man, Ransom definitely delivered on this shit. You know what I mean? Seven songs, you know, a quick little EP. I wasn't mad at it because the simple fact that he, he had a, a plan for it. You know what I mean? I didn't know what to expect when he first announced it. But he definitely delivered on this shit. You know what I mean? Just a great concept for a project. And... He did what he did on it, you know what I mean? And a lot of people was loving it. Even though he about to drop another project, I'll post uh, the picture of the artwork and track list, you know, um, somewhere in the video. But I think it's supposed to come sometime in the summer, possibly July. But he's working with um, Big Ghost, the guy that uh, Conway works with on a couple projects. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. I was just like, oh, shit. And I think it's like 10 joints on that joint. So I'm like, yo, Ransom is crazy. You know, I think it's called The Head Who Wears a Crown or something like that. I, you, you'll see it, but I'm like, damn, Ransom is definitely getting on this shit as far as 2021. Because I was wondering, like, man, 2020 was a good year, but is he going to still deliver in 2021? So far, he's been delivering. His features have been on point. The record him and Benny got, um, Spineless is Fire, um, 38 Special, um, Benny put out a little uh, project, Trust the Sopranos. It was okay. It wasn't all that. And I think Ransom got a verse on there. Um, Shade Noir, you already know about her. Her last project was Fire as well. Ransom had a verse on there. So Ransom definitely been delivering with the features and everything like that. So it's just insane how much of a lyricist he is. It's not even lyricism. It's just like at this point, like somebody said, it's like biblical verses he's spitting because it's just like real life gems he's giving you. And I'm like, God damn, like this nigga is kind of, he is to me the best artist that's out right now. You know what I mean? If you want to say the best rapper alive, you know what I mean? Because he's spitting. But as far as fame and everything go like that, he's not the most famous, you know, rapper, but he is the best. You know what I mean? I was watching an old interview he did with Vlad where, you know, he kind of threw a shot at Nicki or whatever the case may be. And <laughs> Nicki, you know, was like. Y'all go watch the interview, you'll get it. But basically, he was just saying that when Nicki kind of downplayed him, like she rapped better than him, that nigga was looking at, like, what? What are you talking about? Like, there's no way, like, you know what I mean? You rap better than me. That's just a funny ass interview. You know what I mean? I was going to throw a clip in there, but I don't want, you know, the video to get flagged and shit like that. But overall, man, if you're looking for some good bars, some good production, some good lyricism, go check this joint out, man. Ransom 7 EP is out now on. All the streaming platforms, whatever you got is there, you know what I mean? And I'm listening to his other project he dropped a couple years ago called 1%. That's another fire EP. He definitely delivered on that shit, but I'm going to holler at y'all, man. Definitely check this out. For sure, my top three songs is Greed featuring Royce, Sloth featuring JR, and um, Envy. The that opening of that record is just crazy. That sample, that beat is fire, bro. Y'all definitely got to check this out. If you're looking for good hip-hop, Ransom is the man. But still, my favorite record from him or album is Director's Cut 3. To me, he haven't topped that um, project yet. But I feel more or less like his next joint, he go got dropping. It, he may, he may you know, have to dethrone my pen tweet, you know what I mean, with that new project. But we'll see, though. But... Thanks for listening. Thanks for supporting. I'm a holler at y'all, man. One.